Greetings, unsettled souls, and welcome back to The Correct Views. Um, I want to get to something that was left real quick um, on my comment line. Um, this guy is awesome. I'm, I'm happy for everyone listening. I should have already had the page up. Nothing like just watching me click, is there? All right. Um, Ryan Dukin uh, left a message. Uh, first of all, the hair. The hair on the last one. <laughs> my dad's real sick, and you know what? I didn't wash my hair before I recorded. <gasps> anyway, and I think that's hilarious. Um, the one I wanted to get to that mattered the most was um, the show. The show has been around for a long time. It's it's uh, it was a year ago last August, and all of the videos that were on this channel were erased. And I am trying to get YouTube to fix the channel. I only have 15 minutes to talk. I used to have unlimited, but my videos are gone, and that messes up your standing on video time. So do me a favor. Look up um, request for help on my, on my channel, and please do what it says to do. Because with your help, we can get YouTube to fix this travesty. Um, the last thing I wanted to mention about that is uh, it was mentioned that I had made a movie, that he sh I should hand out DVDs. Believe it or not, I did make a movie. It's just not there because YouTube is screwing me. But um, I don't think they mean to. Uh, listen to the video, it'll all make sense. But it's called Bilderberg, Why It Mattered to Me. And if you can donate, I'll make sure you get a copy of it. Um, all right, let's get on to the news since I don't have much time to do so. And once again, all of you that leave comments like this gentleman did, thank you. Please keep doing so. And if you can advertise with me, that would be great. Um, because the camera is clearly high definition. I got a wonderful deal on it. But this mic here, can't use it at all because my computer isn't able to process the video quality, so I have to buy a new laptop before I can get any of my graphics up. And that also ruins my mic because that comes from a separate computer. So that is the status of the show. I'm sorry to take up so much time, but I know a lot of you have, didn't know what happened, and some of you think that the show just started, and I'm in a mess. All right, Paul Joseph Watson, InfoWars, DOJ-funded training manual list bumper stickers as terrorism. Not kidding. A leaked training manual used in the state and local anti-terrorism training SLAT, program for law enforcement had, and funded by the Department of Justice lists political bumper stickers expressing opposition to the United Nation and support for the Bill of Rights as indications of terrorist activity. Well, for those of you that were lucky enough to see the Alex Jones entry I did prior to my channel being all screwed up, know that I own a great big white van. And if you know what the contest was, I had anti-Obama stickers all over the sides and the back doors of a cargo van with no windows. Okay, so I'm out here. Okay, I'm not playing. I'm out here. I have a Ron Paul bumper sticker. I also have a bumper sticker for the band Dolly Rocker Ragdoll and a Buzzbin music shop. Now, I guess I'm a terrorist. The correct views must be a terrorist. What a ridiculous comment. The presentation documents leaked to the public intelligence website are now entitled Terrorism Training for Law Enforcement and are marked Law Enforcement Sensitive and the program is funded by grants from the Department of Justice Bureau of Justice Assistance. One of the slides, entitled Fourth Amendment Issues, it continues, notes that a suspicious map located on the passenger seat could warrant further investigation as a potential indicator of terrorism. Yeah, it could also mean that the person doesn't have enough money to have a cell phone or get a TomTom uh, -tom or something. But you know, being poor then must tie into terrorism. So let me say, um, general right, uh, the, the, fourth, uh, the Fourth Amendment issues is noted. So if you're in favor of the Fourth Amendment, you are also a terrorist. Um, another slide entitled General Wing Extremist depicts sus suspicious bumper stickers that should warrant further in investigation by cops conducting traffic stops. You know, I'm, when the, if a cop pulls me over because of my Ron Paul bumper sticker, he is going to be miserable. Because first of all, I'm going to exercise my right to make him get a warrant. 
And if it's a routine stop where they quote unquote have a existing warrant, which again, it should be illegal, they're going to love me. I have a full size couch and keyboards, mic stands, computers, electronic drum sets, basses and cases and amps and theremins. Yes, Chris plays a theremin. All of that, that officer is going to be tied up there forever. And you know what kind of contraband I have on me? None. You know how many weapons I have on me? None. He's gonna get tied up there forever. Ha ha! Um, under the category of special interest, single issue terrorism, the slide characterizes people who hold political opinions that represent a fairly popular point of view as terrorists. Oh, so if it, it mentions the anti-abortion activists. Um, okay. So, is it terrorism to have a belief that is completely unpopular? Because if it is, it's not listed. It's, I can't even read. Apparently, the Department of Justice considers Americans who have had a good grasp of the Bill of Rights are concerned about the food they eat, those who politically oppose the United Nations, and even those who hold fairly popular opinions to be likely terrorists. How many of you are terrorists? Anybody out there? You know, all right. Oh, we're getting terrorists everywhere. Don't you know this isn't about finding terrorists? It is about finding out about all of you. It's about finding out if you smoke pot. It's about finding out this and that and where you've been and where you're going and what you've done. And it is not about terrorism. Because anybody knows out front that a terrorist is probably not going to advertise it. Unless, of course, he's somebody that is dumb enough to let our government set them up to do it. Um, and this is also uh, Paul Joseph Watson. A DHS enlist citizens to spies via new smartphone app. I'm not going to read a whole lot of this. I'm just going to go over it real quick. Homeland Security officials in Delaware are hoping to enlist citizens as spies by the state by encouraging them to use a new app which allows smartphone users to attach pictures of suspicious vehicles or persons and send them directly to the federal government. I'll read the article for more on this, but real quick, you come to the correct views to hear the correct views, and it's incoming! Um, Nazi Germany, of course, is famous for having done this, but let's not forget this has been going on forever. Um, this tell on your, you think, oh, it's so wonderful to tell on him. You know, I saw a long-haired guy and he had a white van and a Ron Paul sticker on his van door. Do you know what that means? Yeah, it means he's in a band and he's a libertarian. Oh, oh God, protect me! Protect, this is ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. And um, this, this goes one step further. People are going to be using this for revenge. And if you don't believe me, look up having someone swatted. It is when you deliberately call the SWAT team to somebody's house because you want to get revenge on them. That's what that is. Um, so now they're, now they're using, you know, they're literally using our uh, devices against us to use against each other. It never ends, people. It never ends. Um, this is from Washington's blog at China versus Japan, a shooting war, economic war, or war of words. I'm going to uh, sum this up for you real quick. There are riots in Japan and riots in China over the Sudoku Islands. And Japan is saying that they were theirs due to an agreement with the U.S. stemming from the conclusion of World War II. China says that that doesn't hold any water. And if that's not confusing enough, Taiwan who China says that they own, uh, they claim that Taiwan is part of China. Um, Taiwan is claiming that they are not part of China and that the islands are theirs. So now you've got China and part of China that doesn't think it's China, and I'm all for free, freeing, uh, freeing Taiwan, I don't have a problem with that. But I'm just saying, it's, it's, it's a matter of fact, okay, it's not opinion. China, a uh, state, a region that is saying it's its own country that is claimed by China to be China 
and Japan are all fighting over these islands. What's my take on it? Hey Japan, you got nuked, didn't you, by Fukushima. Hey China, uh, you might have to evacuate uh, any place as big as Tokyo. No, I didn't think so. Um, Taiwan, you're going to have to evacuate anywhere as big as, uh, as big as Tokyo. No, not at all. You know what that means, don't you? God forbid Japan and the people of Jap Japan, I should say, would have some place to go if the, uh, if the fuel pool falls over. And, uh, I don't know. I mean, granted, you can't put all of Tokyo in the, in the islands. I know that. I'm just saying that if this fuel pool falls over, the people of Japan are going to need some real estate. They really are. And, uh, you know, I know a country is not going to just give islands away. I get it. But man, do you have to kick the Japanese people right now when they are already down? Now, I'm not saying that they didn't bring this upon themselves, but when I say that, it's the people that own TEPCO that brought this on them. The average person in Japan didn't know anything about it, and they didn't do anything. But if that fuel pool falls over, and uh, Unit 4, if you don't know what I'm talking about, look up Fukushima Unit 4 fuel pool, um, they're going to need some place to go. Of course, China doesn't give a damn. Um, all they care about is themselves, and by that I mean the government, of course. Okay. Um, in closing, real quick, I want to thank everyone for listening to The Correct Views. It is greatly appreciated. Please donate to the show if you can. And uh, as a real quick update, I should have mentioned it at the beginning. The reason I didn't wash my hair for the last show, as I always do, is because, unfortunately, my father has gone from uh, gallbladder surgery to possible liver cancer. They found cancer in the gallbladder. Uh, they don't know if he has cancer of the liver. He is at the Cleveland Clinic and uh, I posted real quick when I got home and then immediately went to bed. So um, many apologies, but uh, thank you for listening. Good night, God bless, and thank you for listening to The Correct Views.